Welcome back. It's one of the most anticipated spring games that we'll see at any school this season. Hugh Jackson leading his Grambling Tigers into Eddie G. Robin Stadium for the first time yesterday afternoon. Our Sam Rothman was there with a full recap. Today we got our first look at Hugh Jackson's Grambling Tigers in game action and our first look at the entire quarterback room. All four quarterbacks took snaps today. But Coach Jackson says that's not necessarily a good thing. What I don't like is that we don't have just an established quarterback right now, and that's okay. You know, again, I need to make that a priority for me, and I will. Sometimes you put guys in situations to see if they will do the right things under duress, and I learned a lot about them. You know, again, it, there's a crowd here now. It wasn't just like practice. You know, now there's people watching. It's a different type of pressure. I just needed to know some real important information. I think I was able to gather that today. So 15 practices in, Coach Jackson doesn't yet know who will be his starting quarterback, but he does know one thing. They'll work. You know, they don't run from work. Um, they understand the demands of playing college football and going to class. But at the same time, I still think there's another level that we need to get them to. And I think they get it. They understand. My expectation is really high. It's going to take my leadership, uh, me coaching our coaches, creating the right environments for them to get there, making the right decisions at quarterback. And I think we can get there. While today's spring game was a first look for fans, it was also a first look for Coach Jackson into the G-Men game day experience. And let's just say he liked what he saw. Oh, my gosh. Let me say this. This was tremendous. I, I, I would rival this against anybody else's uh, spring game. You know, this was awesome. And again, I just think it was because what people are expecting from our football team. I think our fans were tremendous. The band, just the families that were here, the recruits that were here. And just like a true coach. I want more. I want both sides of this place filled, and it will be, because we're going to put a product on the field that they'll be proud of and they'll want to be here to see. And we'll have to wait a little bit to see that final product as seven months from today, Grambling starts its season at Arkansas State. Reporting from Grambling, I'm Sam Rothman. Moving over to LSU now, all eyes this spring are, of course, on the quarterback position with six-year senior Miles Brennan removing his name from the transfer portal and returning to the program. Many view him as the favorite to win the starting job. Head coach Brian Kelly touched on why he believed Brennan decided to return to the Tigers for one final ride. He wanted to be in a system where the head coach was involved with the quarterbacks. Part of the system is certainly quarterback friendly. The head coach is involved in it. I think that had a lot to do with it. And, you know, he's a he's a tiger, you know. I mean, he loves LSU. And, you know, you can see he's, he's so much better shape. He's physically in a good spot. Mentally, he's in a good spot. And, you know, he's a he's a veteran. And that that is such a, a, a great commodity to have in college football today. In two short years, the city of Shreveport will have a new attraction. College football sitting there announcing the man who will be leading the gents onto the field. Our Sam Rothman has more on the familiar face returning to the 318. Back in November, when Centenary announced its return to college football after a more than 50-year hiatus, the question on a lot of people's minds was, who will be the head coach? Well, today, we got that answer, and it's someone very close to home. This is my city, Shreveport, Bossier. For me, all roads lead back to Shreveport. And those roads started in Shreveport for new Centenary head coach Byron Dawson, an Evangel graduate who won three state championships with the Eagles, played at LSU, and then returned to coach his alma mater for 15 years, will now be a first-time college head coach in his own backyard. This is something that I wanted. This is something that I dreamed about. And so when I got this opportunity and to do it right here in my hometown, I think it was really a truly a, a, a great blessing. We have an opportunity here for guys to come in at the ground level and have opportunity to be a part of something special and to say, hey, I started that great tradition there at Centenary, and that'll be one of the biggest things that we'll sell. But Coach Dawson also understands the challenges of selling a brand new program to recruits, but says doing it with that home field advantage will give the gents an edge. Even though there are still a lot of questions leading up to Centenary's return to the gridiron in 2024, Coach Dawson is already sure of a few things, including his team motto. Now we go. Now we go. Reporting from Centenary, I'm Sam Rothman. 